Hey guys, Gary Dean, InfinityCustomWorks.com, DetailJuice.com. This is my son Braxton. Hello. <laughs> so I've been doing all these color shifts on these cars and these boats and all these cool effects. Mr. Braxton was like, can you paint my Xbox? And I'm like, well, I don't know. I guess we can. Let's, let's try it out. So anyway, I brought my boy to the shop today to paint his Xbox with VersaCoat 13 and a color shift. So let me show you where we're at. I've already pulled it apart. Um, this is an Xbox. What is it? Xbox One. And it was really easy to pull apart. All the guts came right out. And then you've got, I think, four pieces. Let me show it to you. So this is his old Xbox One. Still totally works. He uses it every day, don't you? Well, not every day. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I've just taped, taped up the inside. Uh, it won't hurt anything if the VersaCoat comes through. Uh, but because I don't want a big gooey mess inside, I'm just going to tape it so that it doesn't go inside. Um, so I got the bottom and the top all taped up. You can see all the venting on the side of this. I taped all that too. I'm going to go ahead and put this clip in and then put the other side on. Then we'll have a whole black base to, I'm going to pull that sticker off too, I think. Uh, we have a full black base to put a color shift on top of. The color shift we are going to use is right here. Pretty cool, huh? You like that, Brax? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put together. Uh, and then we're going to prep it with isopropyl alcohol and distilled water, which I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and then get a towel saturated basically and then scrub it all down. So let me get it all prepped and ready to go and I'll bring you back before we start spraying. All right, guys, we have this, what was it? Xbox, Xbox, one. Xbox one is all prepped and ready. I taped up the interior and then I put it back together. I'm about to use some adhesion promoter. It's the first step when you're spraying the VersaCoat or, well, anything else on plastic, you want to use an adhesion promoter. So we're going to do this upside down first, kind of what we're doing. This is the bottom of it. cool part about the VersaCoat that you guys already know and love is that no scuffing necessary. So we'll give this about five minutes, hit it with another light coat, and then uh, five minutes after that we can go ahead and start attacking it with the VersaCoat. So we'll let that sit for a minute while I get the... Uh, we are definitely... ready to spray as far as the mixture here it's beautiful so that's what we're going to do for the boys xbox and uh we'll be good to go all right so i'll uh, bring you back whenever i got uh whenever i'm ready to spray all right so i went ahead and put the goods in the cup so this is VersaCoat mixed about uh, 60, about 60% 60 VersaCoat to 40% acetone, and then my own custom mix of pearls. Um, I am just adjusting the gun just real quick. Uh, when you put pearls in here, you always want to ma make sure you agitate everything or the pearls could separate and sit down at the bottom. This is a 1.3 tip. And as you can see, everything's ready to go. You already saw me um, use the adhesion promoter and all of that. So I'm just gonna spray it straight away. All right, I need you to back up.
All right, there's your one coat. We obviously will have to flip it over after I put, I'm gonna put two coats on everything and then uh, flip it over and we should be good to go. So we're gonna let that flash for, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes. Then I'll uh, spray some more. We'll bring you back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for coat two. I'm only doing two coats. Then we're gonna flip her over. enough for the bottom not a big deal we're gonna let this rest or we're gonna let this uh, flash off for about 15 minutes then I'm gonna flip it back over once it's dry and we'll get the top uh, but we're gonna put three coats total on the top and all the sides the bottom is just gonna get the two coats so we'll bring you right back all right everybody I have flipped it over so there's nothing on the top surface I have refilled my gun here. So, get at it. All right, we're gonna give that a minute. And then we're gonna, so that would be the base coat for the top. So we're gonna do two more complete coats everywhere. So the bottom has two and everything else will have three. So that's the top. And then the rest of what I've got in here should be enough to go over it two more times and we'll be good to go. So just need a little bit of time. and we will uh, go right into it. All right, give it a minute. All right, this is the second coat for the outside. and we'll do one more coat just enough for another coat so be back in about 20 minutes okay this is the absolute final coat we're gonna put on there with just enough I'm gonna go ahead and coat the top first I'm gonna spray it on pretty wet and then uh, right after that I'm gonna spray what's left on these the sides and that kind of thing so all right, here we go. That's all she wrote. That's it. All right, we're gonna give that about 30 minutes to completely flash off and then I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. Okay, it's all done. So this is VersaCoat 13 with uh, one of my color shifts. You can see blue there, purple. It definitely has some green in it and a much lighter like pink color. 
I will definitely show it to you in different lighting once we get out of the shop, but it's uh, pretty much dry now and we're going to take it home and put it back together and <laughs> hopefully it works. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's pretty cool that this was a clear cover and you can still see the Xbox logo through the VersaCoat that I put on the surface. So pretty cool. And the same with this. You can still see that through it, which I think is awesome because that, I believe, lights up. So, this lighting isn't doing it justice, but as soon as we get home, hopefully there'll be some direct sunlight and I'll put it in the direct sunlight. If you notice, uh, when I was spraying it, I was trying to go at an angle, pushing it that way and then pushing it back this way so that I was getting both sides of those fins, which looks like I did a pretty good job. Um, you can see that half of them are purple on the top and then in the inside, it's blue. You can see the blue back there. Um, I have to look and see what exactly what colors are in this because it's more than just the blue and the purple that you see. So uh, when we get it home, I will shoot the last bit of the video once I have this thing working and playing. Uh, also notice I did not do a gloss top coat. I don't really feel the need for it. I feel like it's plenty glossy. Um, I can absolutely get more gloss, but the kid's happy with it and I'm happy with it. It definitely looks glossy enough to me. It's not a car, so looks good. All right, well, we'll bring you back uh, once I've got this thing all back together and that kind of stuff to show you that uh, the, the whole deal worked out. All right, so we are at home. Before I take this thing inside, I wanted to try to get you some of the color shift. There you go. There's some of that lighter peach look. There it is. There we go. That is a Versa coated Xbox One. <laughs> Pretty cool. It definitely has some peach in it, but it's mostly like purple and blue. There you go. Lots of other color shift options. He wanted this one. And that's what he got. So that's basically three coats of VersaCoat with uh, these pearls on it. Now it's time to go put this bad boy back together. Thanks for watching guys. Check out uh, basically infinitycustomworks.com, uh, W-O-R-X. That is where you can find the information about uh, VersaCoat 13. You can also find it at detailjuice.com under the coatings tab and in the VersaCoat 13 category on the site. All right, that's it guys. Time to put her back together. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. And if you want something like this done, just let me know.